I agree with the old saying when they say that there's nothing more American than apple pie. But I'm going to tell you there's nothing better than apple cobbler made in a Dutch oven over an open campfire. I'm going to show you guys today a super, super simple recipe that my sister had told me about years ago. I've, I've made this multiple times and it, it just turns out fantastic every time. It's, it's a hard one to mess up. Uh, let's go over by the fire and we'll start talking about how we make this. But I told you guys this was an easy recipe. I wasn't lying. There's uh, just a few ingredients in here. Uh, you can make this with any pie filling flavor of your choice. Uh, white or yellow cake mix, doesn't matter which. With the apple, I like to add a little bit of ground cinnamon on the top of it. Uh, and then just some oil for greasing. Um, Let's put these ingredients in there. I'll show you how simple this is. To start off with, we're going to use a campfire style Dutch oven. Uh, if, you, if you find a oven with the legs on the bottom that keeps this up off of the ground, that is a campfire or an outside Dutch oven. You can, you can use a Dutch oven on your, on your stove at your house just like you can a cast iron skillet. Just have more of a smooth bottom on it. I'm going to show you guys just how simple it is to make this. I honestly think that the reason this is one of my favorite uh, campfire desserts to make is not because it's so darn good when you're done, but because it's so simple to make. Um, today we're going to line our Dutch oven with some parchment paper. These things are a lifesaver for saving your cleanup time. Starting this is just going to be as simple as opening the can and dump them in. You'll start off with your two uh, pie fillings. I choose apple just because this one's my favorite, but you can use any flavor of uh, pie filling that you want, and, and they're all good. Get your pie filling dumped in there and just smooth it around make sure it's about the same level all the way around next we'll be ready to add the cake mix on this step just dump that cake mix right in on top of your pie filling so that this bakes consistently we'll just smooth that out so it's the same coverage all the way around Get you one stick of butter. You'll want to just slice that thin and then evenly distribute those slices across the top. Throw a quick dash of cinnamon on top. This is what it looks like before we put it in the fire i'll put the lid on this and we'll go get the coals ready when you are cooking in your dutch oven you do not want to overheat it cooking in this oven is really not a whole lot different than cooking in your oven at home everything's got its own temperature that it cooks best at and if you overheat this you're just going to burn it and ruin your meal i've got my main log separated from my hot coals i'm going to take my shovel get a scoop of that and make those coals that are going to be beneath the dutch oven pretty thin really and then we'll put more coals on top of the Dutch oven. I took the coals that were underneath of where I did to set the Dutch oven, raked them pretty thin, put some hot ones on the top. I took all the extra coals and I pushed them back over here into where the logs are burning. 
only because I want to keep those hot. Unlike charcoal briquettes, some of the smaller coals that I put on top of the lid, there is some ash in there and that ash will insulate that lid. So we, we will from time to time have to add a couple more uh, coals on there. This will take 30 to 45 minutes usually to make. Um, you, you really don't have to open it and check it all that much. Best thing you can do is wait until you can start smelling it, get down wind out of it, wind of it, and if you can smell it in the air, it's probably ready. All right, our uh, apple cobbler's been on for about 30 about 35 minutes now. Uh, let's pull this out and see what it looks like. That turned out perfect, guys. I'm gonna grab me a spoon and try a bite right quick. Oh, that's perfect. The only thing I'm missing now is a big old bucket full of ice cream. That stuff turned out fantastic, guys. Every time. This is a hard thing to mess up. It really is. I wanted to get this video out because uh, camping season's coming up here pretty quick. So this is one of the first nice, really nice days that we've had. And I wanted to try, try my best to get ahead of the, the camping season. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you guys all have a good day.